Hey there, this is Mr. Wilford, and I wanted to introduce Chapter 4, Section 1, uh, all about matrices and data, and uh, just to kind of let you know what a matrix is. First of all, uh, basically a matrix is taking a bunch of numbers and putting it together in a table. And um, when we talk about a matrix, uh, we usually talk about the dimensions of a matrix, and we uh, typically will talk about it as an M by N, where uh, we go the number of rows by the number of columns. Columns go up and down, rows go left to right. And so this example right here is showing us a 2 by 3 uh, matrix. And for every number that we have inside the matrix, we give it an address. And so this address right here is uh, A sub 2, 1. Uh, it looks like 21, but that just indicates that it is row 2, column 1. Uh, and so you can talk about each of these having a certain address, each of these numbers here having a certain address for them. Uh, and basically when we display a matrix, um, we're just taking these numbers here, uh, some data, some information, and putting them in a nice, neat, organized uh, table called a matrix. Uh, in this example here, we have a 3 by 2 because we're talking about 3 rows and 2 columns. Uh, now, we want to be able to do a few things with matrices. Uh, for example, we want to add and subtract matrices. And this is really pretty easy because all you're really doing is adding or subtracting numbers. Uh, you just have to make sure you're adding and subtracting the correct numbers. When we add and subtract matrices, we're looking for um, corresponding elements to add or subtract. So, for example, here, the red numbers five or 1 and 5 we add together. And 2 and 10 we add together to get this matrix 6, 12. Um, the key here is that you have the same dimensions. Then you can add or subtract those matrices. You can see here we have two different dimension matrices, and so we cannot add or subtract them. Um, in the examples here, you want to just take a quick look at some of these examples uh, on how you're adding the matrices together. Here we're subtracting them. When you subtract them, you have to make sure that you take that subtraction sign to each element. So be careful with that as you go through. Um, also, uh, one thing you can do with matrices is multiply uh, by a scalar number. And all that really means is, uh, in this example here, it's 2. This is the scalar number 2 times this matrix here. Basically, you're taking that 2 and just multiplying it to each element, to each number in the matrix. Um, so, again, uh, take a look at some of these examples here. Uh, in this example, we're taking the number 2, scalar number 2 times matrix A first, and then we're going to subtract 3 times matrix B, and because these two do not have the same dimensions, we would not be able to add or subtract those. In this matrix, or in this example here, uh, using the same matrices as, as uh, the other page, now we're taking matrix C minus 2 times matrix A. So again, we're kind of distributing this, this negative 2 to each element, and then we're going to add those matrices together to get this final matrix here. And, and these here we can add because they are the same dimensions. Uh, there are some properties here that you can take a look at. They're pretty basic, pretty simple, uh, and they follow a lot of the algebraic uh, uh, properties that we use, uh, that we've used earlier. And that's about it for matrices in Section 1. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.